Hey guys, I'm going to share with you the recipe for the very much requested brie appetizer I shared in, I think, a day in the life video. Anyhow, what you're gonna need for this recipe is a jar of jam, of jelly. This happens to be a homemade peach. You could really use any kind, you know, grape, strawberry, apricot, you name it, it would be delicious in this, but the peach is especially good. A roll of good old Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. I didn't say that this was a healthy recipe, but Seriously, one of the best things you'll ever taste. And some brie. Now if I had two rolls of crescent dough, then I would have used this whole entire thing of brie, but I'm only gonna need about half of this. And you'll see here in a second that you'll cut it to size, but just a good brie, got that at Costco. You can get it at Walmart too. And if it wasn't enough white bread dough product, you're gonna wanna add some club crackers. This is gonna be for dipping it in at the end. And a pan of your choice. I'm using a rectangular pan. You guys have seen me do this in a pie dish. I've also done it in muffin tins countless times and just made them individual. Completely up to you. First thing you're gonna do is cut off some brie. I'm gonna use this triangle here in the front for the roll of um, dough that I have today. It's kind of up to you. You can use a little more, you can use a little less, but naturally you're gonna wanna take off the packaging and then the little plastic layer. Now, because I'm an American, I do take off the rind. And I know that, at least I had my friend who was here with me at the time said that if I was French, this would be the biggest no-no ever. Um, <laughs> I hear it's good. She likes to eat it. I personally don't. So anyways, that's up to you. That's the point of this story. And then you're gonna wanna grease your pan just so that things don't stick, although it's gonna be buttery and greasy enough. I just, I don't enjoy doing dishes. So unroll your crescent dough and fix any imperfections in it, you know, the cuts, the natural breaks in it. And that way, you know, things aren't going to spill out. If you miss a spot, not the end of the world, but you know, it's just, it's cuter sometimes if you don't. So cut it so that it'll fit it to size. I'm going to be making a, obviously a rectangle out of this. So I have my, you know, two triangles and my rectangle, put it together just so it kind of cooks evenly and then add your jam or your jelly. This is going to be the part where you do not want to get chintzy. So put in as much as you know really you can. You really want to add a lot on there. Make sure you cover the brie completely and then that way you get a lot of it. So don't feel like you're putting you know too much on. Don't go too crazy but don't you know don't keep it short. This is probably the bare minimum of what you want to put. I just was out of it in my, my jar. So that was it for me. And then you're going to want to roll it up and, you know, tuck in the sides. If you want to keep a decoration, if you just saw I pulled off a piece, you might want to decorate some on the top to make it look a little bit prettier. Sometimes I do this and it comes out absolutely gorgeous, like in my day in the life video. And then there's other times like today where it's just not the, the prettiest. It's, it's not a big deal either way. So I'm just putting a little extra on top. Kind of looks like a mummy at this point. And, um, before I put it in the oven and just kind of jazzing it up a little bit. So once you have everything tucked in and put together, you're going to want to move it to your oven. So you're gonna cook this at 350 degrees until it's golden brown and if it leaks, bubbly. It's something that you might wanna to check too is lift up a piece. You can kinda of see here on the right where it's broken. I lifted it up to make sure it was cooked through. Sometimes it's good if it's a little, just slightly undercooked on the inside. That's me though and my love for eating things raw but uh yeah so as soon as that's done you're all set and what I like to do and the way I like to serve it is to put it on those club crackers it's it's the best this way and uh enjoy just like that it's so good so good so if you're looking for an appetizer for Thanksgiving this is why I'm putting this out on a weird day so that you can add it to your grocery list this weekend I would highly recommend it or for any party it's delicious I hope you guys enjoy thanks for watching I'll talk to you soon bye